This has happened for the first time in my life and there's a big emergency in the pub. Move, move! What's up guys, welcome back to another day at sea and it's the night before Swiss Canal and uh, it's 20 hundred hours so what, what the thing is that I'm going to be going uh, to take the watch now just before the arrival of the Swiss Anchorage I'm going to show how the be anchor at night and you're going to enjoy a good time lapse of the night so guys uh, this is going to be a southbound approach a uh, northbound approach, last time was southbound which you saw if you haven't checked that out, do check it out and uh, this is going to be different because this side you haven't seen so let's see how it goes and have fun Hello Lizzie, thank you Now okay, we will proceed forward now Hi hi So guys Okay, so once you get uh, around You can make, uh, you can walk out Starboard anchor To water line and once we get a bit closer One shuttle in the water, I will let you know Going for the anchorage now. So uh, the thing is, what happens is uh, uh, we go on anchor. We, we anchor at night, and then in the morning we have a convoy, which we have with, with, with which we have to proceed. So guys, when we are going for the anchorage, we need the flashlights, and it's good practice to test them before, because it's night time, and I need to sh uh, see the anchor cable. And also more very important is that we use the right ear muffs because that causes a lot of uh, noise. So let's go, let's proceed for the anchorage. So here we are at the anchor station. Oh, it's quite windy. So that's the gear which we have engaged and this is the brake which I'll open and uh, I won't be able to make a video of it because Different operation gain or something. That's the anchor bar. Make it one in the water. We can uh, make one in the water? Yes, please. Cover that count. We start now. So, guys, it's 12 30 and uh, that took a long time. In fact, half an hour more than what was expected. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Guys. 6 o'clock and it's a little late as usual so this canal I'm always late somehow this captain is going to kill me guys what a beautiful day to start the morning with this uh, hazy sunrise kind of thing and we're back again in Swiss canal Looks uh, looks amazing guys. The sky is pretty pretty scattered clouds. These are known as middle clouds. Most important preparation phase, masks. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just wear it when I go inside. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I slept last night at around uh, one o'clock and have to get up like at 5.30. So it's like this four and a half hours sleep. But that's how it is. And uh, this fresh breeze, I can I can inhale, you know, good fresh air. And, uh, it makes me feel uh, fresh. I'm in such a beautiful place with you know I'm earning money doing all this. Really really super super good and uh, I just can't get over the clouds today guys and also I like to show you the other side. So the thing is this is the point after which radiation starts so uh, I would not like to go beyond this because then there's the uh, VSAT which is the satellite system and you know the red eyes the radar is on top so you know it doesn't affect us that much but uh, the VSAT that affects us. Right, let me give you a super view of the bridge and you know what all things are happening here. We entered 
the canal quite early. Like uh, generally, we enter at five o'clock or five thirty. But this time we were in th at three thirty. And the good part is when I came on the bridge, then already we were in the canal and the sun was rising. So we got some good visuals. And I hope you're liking that time lapse and this super view which I found in this GoPro, which is amazing, guys, amazing. And uh, yeah, so Captain, he's sleeping right now, and I have the chief officer, chief officer Haino. You, you know him from all of the videos. And Guys, while the helmsman is uh, doing the, you know, taking orders from the pilot and maneuvering, so I have to keep in mind the rate of turn, which is here, and the rudder angle, and the uh, heading, so that uh, you know all the orders are followed properly, and because there's absolutely no margin for error, if you go slightly left or right, you go aground, and then. Uh, it's already been disasters in this uh, canal where the ship went aground and then they had to, you know, uh, stop all the convoys. Uh, I know the chief officer, he just told me that there's a tunnel behind us, south of us, and uh, the depths over there is just uh, 25 meters, right? Yeah. 25 meters, and uh, we can't see it, but uh, just somewhere over there. And Benedicto, he likes to take pictures. <laughs> So yeah, somewhere over there, there's a tunnel at just 25 meter depth. So uh, you can imagine it's not so not so uh, deep, you know. And there's from uh, that side, which is the desert side, to that side, which is uh, the green side. And it's a green side because the river Nile it's flowing over there. So they've got all the freshwater resources from uh, there, and that's where that hence the vegetation on. Now what I lose, I'll just call the galley this telephone and tell them that 7 30 these guys will need their breakfast on the bridge and I'll go down and have breakfast let's see what will be for the menu today hello cookie so the menu for these guys are uh, pilots so two pilots so they need a uh, cheese or blue cheese yellow cheese then uh, milk yogurt jam and uh, it's quite bright and shiny as uh, bright and sunny and uh, this time it's more of you know kind of uh, early early uh, arrival from the on the Swiss and uh, yeah it's been uh, beautiful so far so good and uh, let's see when Captain Marsin comes and if we can take something uh, some input from him okay, now we'll be entering the Great Bitter Lake so if you remember last time the Great Bitter Lake was towards the end and now it's just starting over here guys I'm watching the windows so that you guys can have a better view from the bridge wings. So guys, you can see this small fisherman right over there. Trying to fish and then there's this uh, small sailboat there. And then there's a barge. Guys, okay, we have some problem and I have to go forward to the anchor station now. Yeah, tell me he's on the way. Okay. Yeah, on, the, on my way. Benedicto, yeah. I'll meet you in power station. Okay. We will drop anchor? Yeah, we are at uh, our anchors in, in half hour from now. In half hour and half hour from now, okay. Guys, can you see how close these fishing boats are? Because they come so close and we are such, such a big ship with so much uh, maneuvering uh, difficulties and it's just unbelievable. Whoa! Move, move! They don't want to move. So guys, you can see all anchored uh, bulk carriers over here. And uh, I'm, I'm sure we're going to be anchoring ahead of them. Uh, this might be because there's a congestion in the uh, forward part. Maybe there's a emergency with the engine or some vessel went aground. So let's see uh, what the things come up. And a fun fact, back in 1967, there were like 15 bulk, uh, 15 ships which got stranded here due to this war in Egypt and they were here for 8 years guys and it was manned by 8 years and they had this small community you know they made a small community for you know uh, interaction, interaction, socializing and uh, part, small parties and everything so that was somewhere here guys so guys just before anchor I'm going to eat my breakfast and then go so uh, I still have 30 minutes to drop the anchor okay that's the menu for today uh, I love this this is some Tom's chocolate and rest is all the same this has happened for the first time in my life and there's a big emergency in the forward in the convoy so we will drop anchor for sure now as you must have uh, 
hurt. So guys, that's our bow thruster. You know, making, uh, taking out all the sand and mud. Uh, it's it's incredible. The water side. Yeah, there's change of plan uh, we won't be dropping anchor because uh, there's not enough water so what we'll do is we'll just drift around like this uh, ship over here and uh, all the other ships over there they're just drifting so insufficient water so uh, let's go uh, let's see what the next plan is and I'll get back to you with what's wrong uh, ahead uh, we couldn't uh, uh, drop the anchor because the depth was really low and uh, but you should remember my TPP video I showed you Marcel Musk one of the triple E's and today we have the next generation uh, Mete Musk which you will see in just few seconds and there you can see the big uh, Mete Musk so running dead slow ahead so they are making this uh, nice I mean uh, like hotels and everything which yeah, yeah but that's actually, this is how we we don't build cities like that we are, the cities are developing you know yeah here is like you know a <laughs> full package you know <laughs> full package yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's like very old 800 years old and you know over the years of hundreds of years you know decades it was developing here is you know full package <laughs> like it's a, so yeah, there, there's a five star hotel kind of thing and in between the small artificial lake we have like a small uh, maybe a restaurant or something so uh, such a nice pretty uh, oasis kind of lake over here so uh, that's the good part about coming northbound you know you get to see different things and southbound you already seen that if you haven't please check that video out guys right, uh, now we do the pilot exchange as you must be knowing by now i've showed it so many times i'm sure you know who the pilot is what all happens so let's pick up the next set of pilots <laughs> see behind me this is uh, like an extension so what happens is suppose somebody wants to cross from here one second somebody wants to cross from here to that side so they just uh, swing it around so it's uh, the length the breadth of the uh, can canal so uh, anybody can you know cross over easily so that is something new which you guys must have seen today also captain uh, board is clear now Last leg, I have 30 minutes more to go and then I will just knock off and sleep. So guys, today's transit was quite hectic since we had this uh, special circumstance which was that uh, one of the ships ahead lost its steering and uh, it had lost power so it was not under command and it had to uh, you know stop immediately. So luckily everything went well, there was no grounding or anything. So uh, yeah, you saw we approached but our depths were so less that uh, we could not drop the anchor. So I hope you found the Swiss Canal video interesting and informative and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.